Greetings gamers, HNSN, and do I even need an intro this time? I mean, so so about two weeks ago, as I'm recording this video, I released my top 20 favorite movies of all time. Well, it's time for the opposite, my top 20 least favorite movies of all time. So yeah, here we go. I I praised the movies for for like uh, 40 or, for almost 40 or so minutes two weeks ago. Now it's time to rip these movies to shreds. We're, we're, we're about to rip these, these, these 20 movies to shreds in 3, 2, 1. On to the video. Starting off this list with Physic Beast The Crimes of Grindelwald. Holy crap this movie. It is so boring and I'm hard time even remembering what happened. But remember, the plot was pretty convoluted, and and, and 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 everything, and the plot has never made sense. The whole time I was watching it about four years ago, uh, I was so confused that my that my brain could not process the, the plot very well. And, and and this movie is super boring too, and I wanted to fall asleep. This whole trilogy is, is already very uneven. The first was decent, and this one was pretty garbage. Secrets of Dumbledore, uh, Secrets of Dumbledore was, was also pretty bad, but it's better than this at least. This movie is super confusing, it never makes sense. It's also kind of forgettable, I mean I've already forgotten most of what happened. Most of the trilogy is pretty forgettable. And, and the characters um, weren't really fleshed out, the characters weren't really fleshed out too well, and they, and they weren't really developed um, too well. Um, from the first, I mean, they weren't like character assassination because they already weren't. Well, well, they were somewhat interesting, but their interesting traits didn't really carry over. But what we'll call it a character assassination for them? So the plot here was just pretty messed up and, and super confusing. And it's movie super forgettable too, and super boring. Like, yeah, Th this trilogy is just a disgrace to the Harry Potter franchise and, and the whole and the Wizarding World name. But this is easily the worst of all of them. So next up on the list is Jurassic Park 3, and, and, and my first gripe is, why does this movie exist? Like, here's the thing, uh, um, the, world of, the World of Jurassic Park was actually based on a book written by Michael Crichton, and was later got a sequel called The Lost World, which was also a book adaptation, and both were directed by Steven Spielberg, but, but Spielberg dropped out this time around um, and handed it off to Joe Johnston, and this time, this time it was not based on a book, so it, so it had to, to base on its own source material from the first two movies, and it was a complete and utter abomination. The plot was just pretty lame, and it was also super generic too. Like we know the dinosaurs are attacking humans and Isla Nublar and stuff, but like there was no point in continuing the trill. There's no point in continuing after the Lost World. The Lost World is where the book ends. Um, with movie adaptations of books, it's best to leave. It's best to end it where the books end. If the books end that Lost World, why do you have to continue it? And even then, this, and even then, this movie is just pain for an hour and a half. A lot of this movie is just people screaming for 90 minutes, and it gets super repetitive. Like holy crap! It gave me. It almost gave me a headache while I was watching this movie. Now, I've heard some people call Jurassic World Dominion first, but I have not seen that one, nor do I care to. I've seen the original Jurassic Park trilogy, and I've seen the first Jurassic World. Um, I've, I've heard a lot of people say Fallen Kingdom and Dominion are, are, are really bad, so I don't think I'm, I'm ever going to watch those two. Unless I do a review... Uh, um, unless, unless I make a video re reviewing every Jurassic movie, um, I don't think I'm ever going to watch Fallen Kingdom and Dominion. Screw those two. But yeah, Jurassic Park 3... Horrible, the plot is pretty lame and also generic, and most of the movie is just people screaming for 90 minutes. Like, who's gonna watch it? that? Um, almost all except for two of 
of, the, of Disney's live-action remakes are either pretty bad or, or or very mediocre, if I'm being honest. I haven't seen all of them, but most of the ones I have seen are that way. The only two that I liked are the live-action Cinderella and the live-action Jungle Book, especially that second one. The live-action Jungle, live Jungle Book I actually thought was on par with the original. But, but, but the worst of Disney's live-action remakes is easily live-action Milan from 2020. Holy crap! Now, I will give some of the other live-action remakes this. They were at least faithful to the original, even if they, even even if, if all the charm that made them amazing were gone in the process. But this is where it especially went rock bottom. This 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 movie is nothing like the original from 1998. It is just um, it, it it's mostly just um. It, 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 well, first of all, it, remo it removes the music. It's not a musical, and and all that. And so, so, so left with a, a Chinese themed action movie that my mom, um, it, well, 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 it, 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 it looks like an, an Asian drama that, that my mom would, would watch all the time. <laughs> but okay, okay, but all of that, of that aside, um, this is. This movie also fails as both a movie and an adaptation. They replaced Mushu as the best character in the original with a stupid lame phoenix. Holy crap, why would they do that? That is so stupid. Apparently it's because, you know, China is strict and everything. China is stupid. Yeah. You know, well, you know how China is, right? Yeah. And, and not just that, the plot was pretty lame too. And the action was pretty subpar. For a Chinese action film. If you're gonna watch an Asian themed action film, just watch RRR and you will not regret it. No, I'm not a big fan of, of boxing myself, but I really like the Rocky movies a lot, even though I, I, I just watched all of them, as well as the, the Creed trilogy for the first time about six months ago. And I liked um, all of them for the most part. Um, um, except for this one. Holy crap, Rocky V. Ugh. This, this, this movie is, is an utter abomination that, that regresses Rocky's character back to how he was, um, in, in, in the first movie. And, and not just that, but it, it also assassinated his character in the process. And, 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 and it also has um, many continuity errors, um, with the first four movies, and which leads to some plot holes as well, and there's also some medical inaccuracies here as well, and it even and, 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 and while the boxing parts weren't too bad, um, it still couldn't carry the movie enough because because Rocky Balboa's character was completely butchered in this movie, and, and he acted pretty stupid in this movie. Thankfully, he was redeemed in in the next movie, Rocky Balboa. What, uh, um, so hopefully, the long wait on that helps. There, there is a Rocky Seven development, um, and, and well, wait what, 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 no, so, and, and and knowing Stallone, it will be well, it likely be the last one because he's old and everything. Hopefully, it'll be way better than this abomination. Live up to the sequel, Rocky Balboa, and also the prequel. Next up is Pirates of the Caribbean Demon, Demon Tell of Tales, and just like I said with Jurassic Park 3, why does this movie exist? There was no reason to continue Pirates of the Caribbean after, um, after the original story arc ended with At World's End. Um, after that, Dis well, you know, Disney decided to be, uh, um, were like, yay, money! They decided to milk it and make two more, Entree to Tides and, and At World's End, and and both were pretty bad, but this, especially this one, was was the worst in, in, in the franchise. The fr franchise already got worse with each installment. The first was really good. The second one was was, was decent. The third one was pretty mid. The fourth one was 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 really bad. This one is especially worse. This one is was complete rock bottom. The plot here was pretty lame. You, you could tell that that this was Disney trying to go back to the style uh, 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 and, and tone and charm of. Uh, uh, the first movie, Curse Black Pearl, and they ultimately failed. The action here is pretty lame, and, and Jack Sparrow um, acts pretty stupid in this movie, and 
and, and the plot is is very convoluted as well, especially in the second act. And uh, now, now the thing of remember that Johnny Depp will not return in, in in the next part of the Gabriel movie that that Disney has planned. But why continue them after, especially if this abomination happens? This movie is an a train wreck in every way, with with a stupid plot and very convoluted, the character a messed up characterization, and and everything. I mean, and he loses he loses the ship, and he tries to get it back, and everything. The plot here is just is very stupid and lame. Lame. You, you can really tell here that this series was um, that this series was was overdone now, and it needed to, to end ten years beforehand. Where do I even begin with this abomination? Next up, we have the amazing Spider-Man Two. Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man Two. More like. The absolute trash Spider-Man 2. Like, holy crap! This movie is is not is not only absolute trash, but it's also one of the ugliest and cringiest movies of all time, w without a doubt. The the plot was super convoluted, convoluted, makes no sense. It's also super boring as well. I, I remember seeing this movie in theaters back in 2014, and I remember I didn't like it very much. And, and, and about a month ago, I went back and rewatched it on Disney Plus, and I totally understood it, it all now. And after rewatching, uh, um, after it being nine years since I had originally seen this, I, I totally remember why I, why I didn't like it. I, I, I still to this day absolutely despise this movie. Uh, um. Um, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was still was still fairly weak in this movie. Both his Peter Parker character and his Spider-Man character were both pretty weak in this movie. The plot was super convoluted and everything, and and, and the Jimmy Fox Electro was so cringy and ugly looking. It, it, it wasn't even a good villain. Like, like look at that face. Like, holy crap! Ele Electro was super ugly in this movie. And even, and even though the action it was super subpar, especially during, especially during the climax, with Gwen Stacy's death, and even that part, I feel wasn't fleshed out enough. This movie is one of the biggest utter abominations of all time, and it's not only one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but also one of the most cringiest and ugliest movies I've ever seen. Well. Though you ain't seen nothing yet, because you will see something pretty soon that's even more cringier and uglier, and, and a movie that I would rather go near with than pull in this abomination. This movie it fails in every way, both as a spy movie, both a, a, as a movie as a whole, a Spider-Man movie, and a superhero movie. The plot does not make sense. Electro is super ugly, and everything, and, and Peter and, and, and Peter's character was it and Andrew Garfield, Peter Parker, and Spider-Man. Wasn't fleshed out enough, and and the only character here who was fairly unlike the only character here who was who was that likable was Gwen Stacy. Hey, it's Morbius. Yo, Morbius. Yeah, it's Morbin time. Morbius out of ten. The cinematic experience of all time. It was a movie of all time, and it made a, um, a more billion dollars in the box office. And the first movie to sell one more billion tickets. It's Morbin Time. The movie of all time. Oh, yeah. The greatest movie of all time. Yeah, it's definitely better than Back to the Future. Aha. <laughs> Uh, reacts. What are you doing here? And how dare you for saying it's better than Back to the Future? There's no way possible that Morbius, the movie of all time, as you say, could be better than that masterpiece. That is my that 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 is a classic almost four the the that's almost a classic almost forty years later. But uh, okay, all that aside, it, it's Morbin time. Morbius. Yes, the movie that people, that people joke about for being the greatest movie of all time. The reason why they joke about that is because it, it, it's a joke, because the movie is actually an utter abomination, 
And they also joke about how, they also joke about how it made a trillion dollars when it actually flopped at the box office. And Sony even saw the memes and re-released it about two months after um, release. But yeah, Morbius is an absolute abomination that 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 they're trying to steal the charm from the MCU and bring it, it into here. And it simply does not work. Michael Morbius' character here is pretty lame and not fleshed out enough, and, 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 and also very weak. And, and the plot was super convoluted as well, and, and, and this movie has a lot of plot holes as well, and, and, and everything. This movie is super boring as well. Like, I wanted to fall asleep 30 minutes in. This movie is it's not even two hours long. Like, holy crap. This movie is, is utter trash that... And when, when, with an convoluted plot and character not fleshed out enough, and everything. So yeah, Morbius, Morbius, Morbius. It's pretty bad. Lame characters, um, messed up plot, and it's super boring as well. And it's also pretty forgettable. I mean, I have a hard time remembering what happened in the movie. Next movie is one that I really do not want to get into, but here we go. You know about this one already. It's one of the most infamous uh, um, animated films of all time. Yep, the Emoji Movie. Now the premise isn't too bad. I mean, there are emojis living inside of a phone. It's, a, it's, it's kind of like Wreck-It Ralph, but with a phone. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, the, the premise was the, the video game characters live in, in, in the arcade machines. Except this time, it, it, the emojis in a phone. The idea's not too bad on paper. But you want to know the problem with this movie? It, 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 it doesn't feel like a movie. It, this movie just feels like a meme um, turned into a feature-length movie. This movie just feels like a feature-length meme, and not just that. Um, the characters here are just pretty lame. I mean, and, and the plot is pretty stupid. Gene is getting tracked down all because of something he cannot control at all one bit. The discrimination plot here was just stupid and lame and everything. I'm sorry, Mario Master, if I'm if I'm bashing this movie, but uh, I still don't like this movie. Uh, I'll admit it, 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 it's, it's not the worst movie ever, and there are a lot of movies on this list I hate a lot more than this one. But this movie is still pretty lame. It's super generic. It's super bland. It's also really cursed too. It looks super ugly. And, and also, Smiler. Why is the why is Smiler the literal villain? She's a smiley face. Why not have an angry face? And now, no, no, I'll admit. High Five was pretty cool, and, and Jailbreak was an interesting character, character, but it's the only two that I really liked at all. And and the little, the little themes of discrimination and ableism are 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 are, 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 are absolutely horrendous, and, and they just don't work for this kind of movie at all. And everything, and, and, and a, lot, a lot of it feels copy and paste from other anime movies, like like for example, the whole premise of the Emojis living inside a phone. Wreck-It Ralph. Um, the scene with Gene and Jill break on the boat. That that, that was that was ripped right out of Tangled. And it looks super cursed. And it's easily without a Sony Pictures Animation's worst movie. Easily. I, I, I never want to watch this movie ever, ever again. I feel bad myself for even watching it at all. It, it's just... And... And even I was offended as someone with autism. I, I, I find this movie very offensive for its ableist themes. Oh, I really, really do not want to talk about this movie. Holy crap, it really makes me want to puke. But here we go. Turning red. Wait, no, more like turning red. Like, okay, let me explain the problem with this movie. It looks super ugly as heck. This movie manages to look uglier than the original Toy Story, which doesn't even look like, which doesn't even look that ugly in the first place. The movie is it's just outdated, it's starting to show its age. But but twenty, but like, but twenty-seven years later, Pixar released this as their twenty-fifth movie, and, 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 and easily one of the biggest abominations of all time. The the plot is pretty lame. I mean, I get how we're trying to. Um, bring on, on on its Asian culture, but but every character in this movie is completely unlikable and, and, and everything, and, and and it's super unappealing to look at. Like who's gonna look at this movie uh, uh, at all? I I I've seen this movie three times. Yes, three times. And I do not. And I feel bad myself for even sitting through it 
any of those three times. Like, why did I even watch this movie in the first place? Well, 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 well I, I, I mean, I, I, I've been a fan of, of, of XR my whole life, so of course I was going to watch it either way, but this movie is just... Ugh. It's super crazy. Every character is unlikable. The plot is stupid. It, 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 it just feels like it, it, it just feels like uh, it's, it's something more than a Hulk ripoff. And the whole panda plot is dumb. And it may, if, if we're gonna make a movie about growing up, this is not the way to do it. And the, the plot is lame. It's super unappealing to look at. And it's just cringe. Like like the only thing is around Four Town. They're just. They're just a, a stupid, horrible, lame, One Direction wannabe, and in everything, and 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 the mom was being way too strict, and 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 that was pretty lame. And the animation is, is terrible. Holy crap! What the f am I looking at? What in the world am I looking at over here? The faces in this movie are so cringe. The plot is stupid. Well, next up is a movie that's so bad that you probably want to forget even exists. Shrek the Turd. Yeah, that's right, Abe, the Turd. The, 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 there's no surprise by now that the Shrek 1 and 2 are some of those critically praised um, animated films of all time. I mean, they have so much charm, they're super funny, um, yeah, they have amazing characters, them being a. a, 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 a them being. Um, uh, um, a parody of fairy tales and, and everything. It works perfectly as a fun little satir as two fun little satirical uh, um, animated films, um, w um, with amazing funny characters and a really nice story and breathtaking animation and everything. I mean, I mean well, well, that's gonna be said about, about Shrek one and two. Then Shrek the third, well, third came along, and guess what? Um, it, 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 completely, it, compl it completely threw away everything that made 1 and 2 great, and it also didn't make any sense in, in, in this Shrek timeline. As, as, and now, that was exactly why this movie, well, well, first of all, there was Prince Charming as the villain. He was pretty terrible and stupid, and, 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 and was a pretty bad villain. He acted super dumb as a villain. M might be one of the worst uh, um, villains out of, out of any movie. And, and there was also the baby ogres. The baby ogres were super ugly and and everything. How would Shrek have that many babies? The baby ogres in this movie were super ugly and everything. And, and there was also the stupid toilet humor. This, this, this movie has a lot of potty humor um, and everything. It's, and it's really it's, it's really dumb and lame and everything. I, 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 it... it, it, it it's super cringe having a baby squirt green, green slimy stuff out of a Shrek. Um, it, it's super gross and unappealing to look at. Well, 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 I, I already talked about Turning Red and how unappealing that movie is, but this is also very unappealing as well, and, and everything. And well, and, and not just that. Um, the writing made no sense as well. Not, not only was, was the charm and the humor for one and two replaced with dumb toilet humor, but also Donkey was super dumb in this movie. Well, well, there's well, a Donkey is easily the best Shrek character. There's no denying that. But this movie, um, and he mentions college. He's talking about college and stuff. Like, like how does that exist in, in, in a high fantasy fairy tale world? And not just that, this movie also regressed Shrek's character back to how he was at the start of Shrek 2, and not just that as well, but also, um, but also this movie, it, um, it also assassinated the characters of, of Fiona and, and Puss in Boots, and they were pushing the movie. Now, th now, this movie is so bad that it, it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. Actually, what happened was, well, Shrek the Third was so hated that that DreamWorks decided to completely erase it from the timeline, and Shrek Forever After ignored it entirely. And, and everything you could have ever missed from Shrek from the Third, um, you could um could could have been easily filled in Shrek Forever After. Shrek Forever After is the real Shrek Three. Shrek the Third, or I guess Shrek the Third. It, it, it feels like a feature length. Well, it, it feels it feels like a theatrical direct to DVD uh, movie. 
and, and, and everything. You know, not just that, but 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 also so far after. Um, well, it does have baby ogres. Um, um it, it doesn't have the lame potty humor that Trek the, the, the turd has, and everything. But it is so bad that the DreamWorks has completely retconned Trek the Third. Trek the Third is not canon, guys. Forever after retconned it from the timeline. Yeah, that's right. The movie actually does not exist. There is no such thing as a Shrek the Turd. There is only Shrek 1, Shrek 2, Shrek Forever After, and an eventual Shrek movie set after Puss in Boots' The Last Wish. Yeah, screw that movie. Next up is Kingdom of the Crystal Skull emo emoji. Yes, Indiana Jones, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but Crystal Skull emoji. <laughs> yes, indeed. And, and, and the, the worst part of this movie is, is uh, that Steven Spielberg did not want to make this movie. Now, I, I were to spy that there were always plans for it. You see, back in 1979, Paramount and Lucasfilm made a deal to make five Indiana Jones movies, but, but Spielberg decided the third to end at. at at the Last Crusade, which is where it all should have ended. So yeah, but but, but George Lucas, uh, um, um, years later decided, hey, we need more money, so we're gonna milk this and make and and, and make a fourth movie. So he forced to make this this train wreck, and holy crap, it is so bad, so bad, like seriously. Um, now. Though Indiana Jones still acts the same in this movie, however, however, um, it, it's super cringy as well. Like, 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 like there was that whole uh, um, scene with the ants at the end, which is super ugly. The plot was pretty lame. I mean, there was the whole house scene that was stupid and it brought aliens into this universe. An old UFO came, and, and, and the whole thing with the crystal skull was pretty dumb. And everything. This movie is is pretty cringe, and and the plot was very messed up. And and, and while the action was it was still pretty um, nice to look at, nice to see, and it was, and it was still top, and it was still top notch. It doesn't help the, the broken plot. Why are there aliens in, in, in the Indiana Jones universe? Why is it? Which was that cringy ant scene at the end, and, and the king of the crystal, well, and, and the whole crystal skull thing was, 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 was very convoluted and messed up as well. Not just that, the whole plot was, was screwed up entirely, and everything. And, and, and there was no reason to continue Indiana Jones after The Last Crusade, and, and it, 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 it's, it's made a stupid movie with, with the whole ant scene, the house, uh, and going through a literal house, it was pretty dumb. There was the, yeah, the aliens and everything. Now, uh, now why does the movie even exist as well? I, I, I mean, Last Crusade literally ended with the uh, with the guys going into the sunset. So they're riding on their horses into the sunset. That was a perfect ending. They cannot top. Now, after this movie, 15 years later. Disney um, came Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which Disney picked up after they bought Lucasfilm. Uh, um, now, as I'm, I'm making this video, uh, I have yet to watch it, but I've heard a lot of people say that's even worse. So I'll be ready to rip it to shreds if I ever. Well, well, I'll eventually make a, 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 a video ranking all these movies. I guarantee um, that Dial of Destiny will be rock bottom, and I'll, I'll, I'll be ready to rant about it there! What in the world was this movie? Ugh. Fantastic Four 2015. Now, all the Fantastic Four movies are, 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 are pretty bad, but at least the, but at least the 2000s duology it, it, from Tim Story are at least funny bad. Like, like, like they suck, but I can at least laugh at them. And seeing Chris Evans as the Human Torch was pretty satisfying. I, I hear they were placed... Uh, um, the cast with with Miles Teller as, as Mr. Fantastic, and, and Human Torch was um, with Mugby Jordan, who also starred in Creed that year, which was a good movie. 
in everything. And I can't remember who played the, the other two members of the Fantastic Four, but yeah, this movie is, it is, well, it, it, it's a Fantastic Four movie. The plot is pretty s dumb and everything. The whole, uh, um, the, the, whole, the whole origin story was, was lame and everything. And, and this movie is also really boring as well. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 mean I, I was already dozing off, or, or was willing to doze off with, within the first 20 minutes. And I also can't remember like anything that even happened in this movie. This movie is so forgettable too. The plot was just super lame. And it's, just, it's, also, it's also really generic too, and and everything. I mean, and it's just it's, this movie is such a slog. And, and the screenplay is some of the worst screenplay I've ever seen in the movie. The acting and, and action were very subpar, and and, and, and were. An action is mediocre at best, and the plot is it's just lame and forgettable, and, and, and it's very copy paste from the 2000s duology. Now, now the 2000s duology w w was bad, but had a special charm to it. This does not have that at all. This movie is complete rock bottom, and it's one of the worst superhero movies of all time. Uh, do not watch this movie under any circumstances. Do not watch Fantastic Four 2015 under any circumstances. M maybe watch the 2000 duology to laugh at it, but never ever watch this movie under any circumstances at all. Ah, uh, not this movie. You can already tell by this time the X Men Hayday was over, it was time for, for Marvel Studios to take it on after Disney bought Fox. Uh, a few months before this movie happened. This movie is just ugh. This movie, this movie is basically if if, if Revenge of the Sith and, and and the Last Stand had a baby um, that was severely injured and, and, and or had a um um a a horrible sickness um and died um 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 at the age of two or three. This movie is broken in every way possible. The, the, the plot doesn't make sense. It's super convoluted. There's a lot of plot holes. And and, and all the X-Men act out of character in this movie, especially especially um, Professor X. <laughs> Xavier acts super out of character in this movie, and, and he acts... And he went from being... A, a smart leader in, in First Lab, Through the Future Pass, and, 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 and Apocalypse, to this movie, he's, he, he acts incredibly stupid, and all of his intelligence is long gone. And, and, and not even all the other X-Men um, had the same intelligence they had in, in, in the first three prequels as, as well. Apocalypse was also bad, but, but at least the characters were still the same as Beth, and, and the worst part is that Quicksilver completely disappears from the movie for no reason after 20 minutes. This movie is also a slog, and it's super boring, and I wanted to, to fall asleep after 30 minutes. This movie is a slog for two hours, and the whole new character it was like Vuck or something. Um, her character wasn't fleshed out enough, and her character was also pretty lame too. All, they, they assassinated the entire X Men cast, especially Xavier. Um, uh, uh, his character was was completely dialed up to one thousand and acted completely lame and everything. Like holy crap, this movie. Um. Ugh. I, um, I, I, I watch this movie once, but I never want to watch it ever, ever again. Do not watch this movie under any any circumstances ever. Now, the biggest problem with this movie too is that Jean um, becomes out of control. That's the worst. And that describes the movie perfectly. All the characters are completely out of control, and they all act stupid. Especially Jean, it, it, it was super hyper, and and and, and, and acts high on this movie. Like, like what crack was the writers on? And the worst part is that is this movie felt very rushed as well. Well, obviously, obviously this was right after Disney bought Fox. But and it was it was, was marked and it is the final X Men movie f from from Fox now 20th Century Studios 
and it, 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 it did not feel at like a finale. It, it felt super anticlimactic, and, and and this movie also went through several reshoots as well. And and the, the, the Disney acquisition messed things up too. This movie is such a slog and is broken in literally every way possible. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Ugh. No, I look. No, no, I like the first Doctor Strange a lot. So I thought it was a, a really great movie, but then this movie came along, and what the heck was this? This this movie makes absolutely zero sense, and it never runs on logic at all. I already bashed Dark Phoenix, and now it it, it it almost never runs on logic, especially with with, with its characterization. This movie is is that, but even, this movie is that. But with an even worse plot, the plot of this movie makes absolutely zero sense at all. It also moves too fast to, to, where, to where you can't process what's going on. And, like, like there, were, like, like, there was a part with, at the beginning with, with, with the whole dream, but it was revealed to actually be the multiverse. But, but if it was actually a dream, then in our universe, well, well, <laughs> well that's the thing, it's super confusing as well, and, and, and everything. And there was also the part halfway through when the, um, when, when the what-if character showed up, and that, that that made absolutely zero sense as well. This movie never makes any sense. It also, and its characterization is also in our issue. It, it, it assassinates um, Doctor Strange and Wanda in this, are assassinated in this movie. It, it, and Wanda was already ruined in, in WandaVision. And this movie made WandaVision even worse, but at the same time, WandaVision makes me hate this movie even more. Plot was super messed up, and, and, and the action was very subpar, and, and and this movie is super confusing too. Like, like, like there was the whole thing, one part where, where Doctor Strange is, uh, uh, was Strange's his third eye, like that form on his forehead. Like, what was that? Like, I'm like, what the heck is this movie? Like, it makes zero sense. It's two hours of of, of a convoluted mess that that never gives you enough time to process it, and. And it also assassinates its characters. But we're about to see uh, a couple of movies coming up that have even worse character assassinations. A little over 10 years ago, a, a, a little movie called Record Ralph released in theaters in November 2012. I, I, I remember six year old me went to see it in theaters one day uh, um, after school. And I absolutely loved it at the time. At the time, it was my favorite movie of all time. At the time, and it still has a special place in my heart all these years later. It represents video games perfectly, and and it represents Disney perfectly as well. And and six years later, there came a sequel. There came a sequel, and I remember being very excited. And when I saw Ralph Breaks the Internet in theaters, I actually liked it a lot. But looking back. Five years later, it is one of the biggest Sinek disasters ever. Now, uh, but first we have the elf in the room. Um, um, the characterization. Again, the characterization. We're going to see a, a lot of rants about characterization coming up in this list. This movie destroyed Ralph and Vanellope, and they had absolutely nothing like they did in the first movie. You see, you see, Vanellope dreamed of being a Sugar Rush racer and, and everything. And she, became the, and she became the princess of, of, of her game, and, and guess what? This movie was all thrown away, and everything. Um, she decided to completely leave Sugar Rush for, Rush for Stupid Slaughter Race. Why? She has, she has such a, a huge attitude to Sugar Rush, and, she, and, she, and she's literally made of candy and stuff, and she felt, and she felt like a, a Sugar Rush character by heart, and, 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 she became, and she moved to Slaughter Race, and that was stupid. And, and and then we have the next the next big issue the product placement the, the, this shoves so many pro, this shoves up so many online corporations and companies and other Disney properties up your face this movie um, feels like this movie really emphasizes on the internet the internet is an interesting world in this movie but there's so much product placement that gets shoved up your place like like Amazon Snapchat Instagram. Or Ralph posting cringy YouTube videos, and it's and it, 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 it's so repetitive, and everything, and it's just two hours of that, and it's so it's so dumb. It's, this movie also breaks the logic of the first movie. What happens to you don't die? What happens to 
whatever happened to the, the whole thing in the first movie where where if you die outside of your own game, you don't regenerate. So that's the thing. Vanilla Bean moved to the slaughter race, so if she dies in that game, she's gone forever. That is so dumb. And everything. Even Ralph himself was was out of place in this, um, was out of character in this movie as well, and he acted very dumb as well, and everything. And here's the thing. Um, Here's like in the first movie, he, he developed a bit to Vanellope, but but he still the still focuses on on, on on him wanting to be a, a hero and, and tired of being a bad guy. And here's the thing: in this movie, um, um, he feels completely obsessed with with, with, with Vanellope, puts to put that to the side. Like 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 like, like, like this, uh, this movie, he, he he just cares too much about Vanellope and can't go too long without her. Like here's the thing. Now, 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 canonically, Ralph is like in his 30s, probably. Vanellope's like, I don't know, 10? And. Yeah, yeah, Ralph feels so obsessed with her. That is just so stupid! Why? And everything. And, and, and this movie also assassinated Felix and Calhoun, who were some of the best characters in the first movie, and here, they have very little role, and only get, like, like five minutes max of screen time, maybe slightly more. The only problems like this movie were. Were was the climax with, with the Disney princesses? Uh, I I thought them teaming up was was, was a cool idea, and, and I also liked um th that part with Sonic in it. That was pretty nice, but that's literally it. This movie is one of the biggest train wrecks of all time that completely throws away everything that made the first movie so good. Well, 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 here we are. Ugh. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The Star Wars franchise holds a special place in my heart, and it has ever since I was like five years old. Um, um, the Star Wars franchise um, is what I said with my love for the film industry, and, and why I love and talk about the movies so much, and why I consider myself a big film um, guy in and, and everything. And and, and back in the late seventies, early eighties, there was the perfect Star Wars trilogy, and, and then sixteen years, and then sixteen years after the conclusion of that trilogy, with Return of the Jedi came the Phantom Menace, and it was an utter piece of garbage. And then there was three years later, Attack of the Clones, which was not much better. And then there was Rangers, which was decent. And then ten years after that, Disney butchered everything with the sequel trilogy. Now the whole, the whole sequel trilogy is is pretty broken, but. But the worst of them all, especially, is the rise of Skywalker and everything. This movie never ever runs on logic. It it it, it, it lacks the imagination that the whole, the whole the whole franchise always had, and it still had the unlikely cast that acted even worse in this movie than they did in the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. And Rey was 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 a complete and utter scum in this movie. Um um. If you yell boo at the end of the movie when um, when Ray said I'm Ray Skywalker and and you yell no you're no you're not if you yell that at the end of the movie then good on you because that's because the rest of the movie in a nutshell this movie is a piece of utter trash that has a terrible ending and. and now now I, I I like the idea uh, of of Ben Solo going back to being a Jedi. Um, but, but you, know, you wonder the worst part about this movie, however? It brought back Palpatine, despite the fact that he literally survived, well, despite the fact that the Death Star literally blew up on him. He had to be dead. Dead. Here's the thing. Palpatine blew up at the end of, of, of Return of the Jedi, and, and, and now he's, he's randomly back for no reason. Trying to to lure his granddaughter Ray to the to the, the, the dark side and 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 Ray being related to him was 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 super lame. This movie also has a lot of plot holes and in it as well. It brings in a lot of plot holes and it makes it even more convoluted as well. And this movie um this movie did not feel serviceable at all as a Star Wars finale at all. And it just felt very messed up. I like the idea of, of Rey having two lightsabers and her having Luke's lightsaber and everything, but the plot was very messed up. And 
Why would they bring back Palpatine when they blew up at the end of Earth and Jedi? It, 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 it completely tarnishes. This movie is literally completely threw away the entire logic of, of, of the original trilogy with, with Palpatine blowing up. Um, it, it, completely tar it, completely, it completely tarnished the entire saga. Now, there are more movies on this list that, that tarnish the Predator. We, we, we already saw that last time with Ralph Breaks the Internet. But there'll be even more movies on this list that tarnish their predecessors. They're so unlikable characters and everything. The plot makes no sense in this movie, and, it's, and, and the, the plot was, was, was pretty dumb in this movie and everything. And this movie is not at all logical, and, and it also assassinated um, um, Princess Leia. No, it not just kill her, it ruined her character development. That's what I mean by character assassinations. And The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi already butchered Han Solo Luke Skywalker, and now this time, Leia ruined it. Well, well, Leia got ruined in this movie. This movie is such an insult to the franchise. The fact that I had this as my 14th birthday present December 2019 was made, made it even worse for me. This is the franchise that, that I have loved since... Um, since I, was just, since I was just a few years old. I remember being super excited for The Rise of Skywalker. When I saw it, I thought it was okay. And I thought that again with my rewatch on Disney Plus. But then I rewatched it about a year and a half ago, and that's when I realized it, it, it was an absolute cinematic atrocity. And, and I can't believe I, I had The Rise of Skywalker, uh, uh, my 14th birthday present. I was so excited to see the ending of the franchise, only for it to completely throw away all the franchise's charm. Well, next up is actually two movies, Toy Story 4 and Lightyear. Now, I ranged about turning red, but that's actually not my least favorite Pixar movie. It's actually a tie between Toy Story 4 and Lightyear. Aw, oh, come on, Agent S! You've, you've had too many rants in this entire video. This video's been on for almost an hour long. Dude, I think you just stopped these rants already. Come on, Agent S! I think you just stopped these rants already. You've done enough rants to the point where you've passed the run time so much. Well, too bad. This video has to keep going because I need, because I have four, or actually five, more movies to rant about. I need to get this out of my system so that, so that way I can finish off this video and get done editing it. Okay, but all, but all fourth wall breaks aside, let's get into, into, into yet another rant and then three more big rants. If you thought my Trinity Red rant was not enough, wait until you see this. All right, I do not want to get into this, but here we go. Growing up, there were there were three things I considered the biggest part of my childhood. Those were Mario, Nickelodeon, especially SpongeBob, and After the Last Airbender, and Pixar. Pixar was my was, um, was my comfort movie studio as a child, and Toy Story 4 unfortunately throws everything away that made. To me, the first three movies so magical. Why? Well, well, for so many reasons. First of all, because um, there's the elephant out of the room. Woody's decision at the end movie. He decides to leave um, is the, the toys he's been with for, for, for 20 years. For about 20 years, only um, and oh, 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 with both people who is super manipulative in this movie and acted nothing like her former self. Not to mention, the new characters were super unlikable once again. It, my way with Turning Red was that the characters were super unlikable, and guess what? This movie is not is, is no different. And guess what? They also assassinated Woody, Buzz, Jesse, and Bo Peep. And Bo Peep disappeared in Toy Story 3. She came back in this only to be... Only to treat Woody like crap and Woody decided to leave. Buzz and the rest of his friends for her and, 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 and took off his sheriff bag and, and gave it to Jesse. Why? 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 I have so many problems with this movie that's not even funny. When I first saw it in the theaters, I actually liked it. And nowadays, I, I totally despise it. Ugh. The only two new characters I liked were the plushies. The plushies were really cool and that was it. Ugh. Now I get it. Bonnie stopped playing with Woody, but but only for three days. Three days. I, I, if it was years, maybe. But still, why can't he just stay in the closet? Or or, or have Bonnie just donate him instead at the carnival? This is it's just stupid. Like, come on. 
<sighs> this movie has so many contrivances throughout it too, and and the plot is just not compl compelling. And its themes are terrible. Okay, so, so, what about, so what about Lightyear? Well, wait, you know what? I say this movie is even worse, but I hate both equally because of because of what they did to my childhood. Lightyear, Lightyear is is even more broken because it doesn't make any sense. The whole point of this movie is that it's the movie that the six-year-old Andy watched and loved as a kid. It was his childhood movie, and it's what his Buzz Lightyear toy is from. Um, and it's a toy based on the buzz from this movie, but guess what? This movie seems nothing like that. This movie is nothing like the, this movie is nothing like the Star Command show from 2000. And not to mention... And not to mention, the buzz in this movie is that's nothing like the buzz that we knew. I guess it's a different different buzz, but also not even Chris Evans voicing him um, even sounded like Buzz. The new characters, I mean, the new, the, the characters in this movie were okay, I guess. But the but the thing is, they're just soulless. It's nothing. This movie has this movie is is soulless. <laughs> that's right. But it's super boring as well. I kind of. Uh, I kind of wanted to turn off this movie halfway through. It was just super boring. Not to mention, it's so forgettable too. I can't remember a single thing that happened for most of it. It was so boring, and the characters were super basic. Not only that, but but but, but the light is, is, is not what we knew. The premise, the premise, the, the premise doesn't make any sense. And not to mention, and not, not to mention, the ending breaks space and time. Like time travel exists in this universe? Huh? Weird. This movie just doesn't have an identity. I just don't. This movie it just it doesn't make any sense. So originally I was going to have. So originally uh, I was going to my friend Loogie Man um um have a cameo in this video, but he was too busy and he had other stuff going on with him. So he decided to just, to just leave this part to me instead. Um, it's unfortunate that I, that I couldn't get him in this video, but that's but that's perfectly fine. So, 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 so I'm giving him a shout out instead. Please subscribe to Loogie Man. Um, he only he only has a few videos so far, but they're all they're all pretty good. They're, they're, um, even though he's only made one full fledged video so far and and five shorts, they're all pretty good and pretty entertaining. Oh, uh, pretty entertaining, and. and, and as Mario and Luigi video was, was really cool too, and it had a lot of stuff that I didn't even know of, about Mario and Luigi. So yeah, please subscribe to Loogie Man, he makes some great videos even though he's only made one that isn't a short, and he made, made five really cool entertaining shorts, so yeah. Subscribe to Loogie Man, he's awesome. Sorry I couldn't get you in the video, so I'm giving you a shout out instead. Well, here we are at, 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 at what by far my my least favorite animated movie of all time, Despicable Me Three. Now, I love the first two Despicable movies a lot. So, uh, um, now, now, but, but it might just be nostalgia bias because I grew up with them and, and I loved them as a kid, a kid and everything. But but Despicable Me wanted to had a, 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 a special charm to them that no other animation movie had until the Mario movie. Um. And amazing hearts, amazing characters, and a lot of the minions were, you know, the minions. They were fun and wacky and everything. And... And, and, and all of that. But here, especially, it got destroyed. At, at the end of the movie, the minions leave Gru, despite the fact that they spent decades with him. The, the minions spent decades with Gru, um... Um... Starting in... in, in Starting with with the ending of the well, well, so starting with the beginning of the rise of, of Gru, the minions um, um, recruited Gru and and and, 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 and made Gru their boss, and and they set up a perfect relationship with their leader. And guess what? It got thrown away here at the ending when when the minions leave Gru. Now I get it. Gru got fired from the anti-villain league from this new lady who replaces Rames Bottom, who was also super unlikable as well. And, and also, and, 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 and think about the characters, this movie also had Drew, Gru's twin brother who was long lost. He, he is super annoying and super unlikable in this movie. Like, holy crap. And he's super annoying and everything. One of, one of the most annoying characters I've seen in the movie and everything. 
and, and, and then there was Brad, who was just there for, for South Park fan service and 80s nostalgia and nothing more. And Brad was a very weak villain and, 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 and everything. And, 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 well, and everything. This movie is 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 one of the biggest travesties, and in, in, if not the biggest tra tragedy travesty in, in animated film in history. Um, um, there's a million to leave Gru, the unlikable characters, everything. I mean, I, I get Gru didn't um want to go back to being a super villain, but but the minion stuck with him and um, long after he quit. Like I was saying, Gru stopping. Evil during the Spickle Me One, yet the minions still remain loyal to him um, from that point onward until this. Well, Mori Master, I hope you're happy that I, that, 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 that I ripped your, your release there, movie to shreds. But, um, so yeah, that was my rant for my least favorite um, <laughs> um, animated film of all time. But, but, but there are still two movies left that I hate even more than it. And here we go! Remember what I said when, when Dark Phoenix and Multiverse Madness never runs on logic ones and sassy other characters? Well, here we've got the worst of them all the Flash! More like the trash! I'm so glad this movie bond at the box office. Now, the, the biggest selling point of this movie was obviously the return of Michael, of Michael Keaton's Batman, but his character wasn't even that good movie. In fact, Michael Keaton's Batman was assassinated in this movie, and he acted pretty late in this movie, and so did Ben Affleck's Batman. But ben, ben Affleck was already a terrible Batman. This whole movie also looks super AI generated, and, and the visuals look so look so subpar. Like, like, like it looks like a PS2 game, and the whole thing with the time travel. It didn't make any sense. It was pretty lame. And everything. The plot was was pretty dumb. I like the idea of a Barry going to his past self. Everything, but 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 it was pretty dumb and everything. And and nothing like this movie ever runs on logic. This this, this movie feels like a, a mix of a multiverse of madness and No Way Home, and, and it just doesn't work. It feels like No Way Home but bad. And. and and, and and all the characters in this movie are pretty lame, and, and and this movie are already butchered. Not only um, like Monkey and Batman, but also Barry Allen's The Flash, and, and everything. I'm so glad this movie bombed the box off of this movie because it's such a big travesty, and it's easily the worst superhero film I have ever seen. All right, guys, it is time for my biggest rant of all time. I bet you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. Here we go. My number one least favorite movie of all time is... Ah, The Last Airbender is without a doubt my least favorite movie of all time. I adore Avatar The Last Airbender with all of my heart. And... And even without nostalgia, it is still a brilliant show that remains one of the best animated shows I've ever seen. And easily without doubt, it is easily without doubt Nickelodeon's best show. But but this movie came along from M Night Shyamalan, from M Night from M Night Shyamalan, and, 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 and a a guy who wasn't even a big fan of the show in the first place. You decided to direct this movie, and you know what? What it was? It, it, it was entirely <coughs> incompatible. And Night Shyamalan is simply incompatible for this kind of movie. Um, 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 M. Night Shyamalan is known for his horror and thriller kind of movies, like like a Sixth Sense, Old Glass, Splits, and the most recent one, Knock at the Cabin. This does not fit that at all. Well, what what it is fairly dark. That's pretty much it. It fits its dark tone, but that's really it. Now, the worst part of the movie was was, was the air bending and the action. It, 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 um, it was super lame. This movie and and now, now several other movies I, I I bashed here have subpar action, but this has an easily worse of the action is it is 
is absolute garbage at best. Like, 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 like it is so bad to look at. This movie completely fails as both an adaptation of, 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 of the classic show from the late 2000s and as a movie as a whole. And the visuals are also horrible, especially for a 2010 movie. Inception came out the same summer, just two weeks after this movie, and it looks amazing and it still holds up. The movie is a phenomenal masterpiece. This is not at all! And never. It, it, it never held up. And it, it, it never ever lived up to the show, and this, and, and this movie never will! And, and this movie um, also got um, all the characters pronounced wrong. I never pronounced Aang as Ong. And stuff, and Soka, and, and Sokka as Soka, everything. They got it all wrong. This is what you get when you get um, an Indian director um, who was um, it, it, it usually directs thriller and horror movies, and just decided to take on an adaptation of an animated series. It was incompatible, and the characters here acted nothing like they do in the show. Why this movie? The way it is! This, this movie does not deserve a live action movie at all! Now, um, it, instead, this movie needed a, 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 an animated movie that continues off of, uh, of, of the show and, and sets up Korra. That, that's what we should have gotten! Not this abomination that that's the first season into, into something that just feels like a fan fiction show rather than an actual adaptation! Ugh! This movie belongs in. This movie belongs in in, 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 in the Hollywood Hall of Shame, as where it needs to belong for the rest of eternity. Screw this movie! Ah! I've had it with that utter bombing in the last Airbender was. It will forever be my least favorite movie of all time. I don't think everything will, anything will ever surpass it. Nothing could ever make it even. Nothing could be even worse of an abomination than it. Not, not, not even the Flash um, was, was able to make it the biggest abomination of all time. Well, phew. Phew. Okay, I think I'm done ranting there. This was a lot of rants for I don't know how long I've been talking now. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, guys, that's it for watching this video. I hope you enjoy these rants. See you guys next time. Agent Des out. Okay, finally, the negativity is over after a probably five minute training red rant and, and that big Remember the Last Airbender. A bunch of other rants. Ugh. I'm glad I have it all off my plate. Ugh. <sighs> okay, guys, that's it. Agent S out. Thank you guys for watching. The negativity is over.